A great Sonny Boy Williamson, the second song, which he recorded twice in the early 50s with a band, a rather up-tempo version, and he recorded as a solo performer, just harmonica and vocals, in uh, the 1963 American Folk Blues and Festival, and it's on this LP. It's sort of uh, unissued recordings, great pictures of Sonny Boy. And it was one of the best, I think, um, American Folk Blues festivals with great sidemen like Mad Guitar Murphy and Memphis Slim. Okay, um, if you're interested in the tablature, please do open the video description below for more info and some interesting links. And we're in standard tuning here on my E's. And let's start with the introduction. So we're starting with a slide to the B7 chord, so A7 moved up. He does the work here and notice the bass of course is what I call the country blues bass. Open and then mute it. It's not not like that. Or, or like that, but you play it open and then you move you <coughs> mute it with the palm of your hand. So you get a nice division of beats, a very clear division. 
double bass and I'm bending both strings slightly it's a partial A7 and one finger for each string slide to the ninth and slow and go down into our B7 chord, up stroke, down stroke, and I often use a triplet to go from one chord to another chord, like that. Open strings, third and fifth and fourth. And then we're going into the boogie finger. And the muting is essential and I'm playing this song rather close to the to net instead of here to get a well a sort of different sound and I'm playing mostly with the flash of my temp if I tilt it I get a more sharper sound but I prefer for this song anyway to get a more fleshy sound um, <clears throat> we had that Again that triplet and into a pinch A7 and I'll do it uh, with the vocals uh, softly. slightly bent in the tap, it's not indicated. And I'm going with two fingers on the second string, so my second finger is already ready and uh, <clears throat> on the 7th fret here. Watch the double bass at the beginning of the 8th measure. Going into an uh, a E7. Yeah, you know exactly what happened. Yeah, last year, just about this time. <coughs> Again, that pinch in the 11th measure of the A7 and preceding by. Like that, that triplet. And <clears throat> I'm really brushing up and close to the net closer so you have more uh, the brush becomes easier to get the three strings the first three strings and <clears> on <throat> the last beat I'm breaking up open strings followed by in the 13th bar I'm playing 
a downstroke and the E chord is already formed. You could do even a little hammer on. But it's muted. <clears throat> Again, those only the temp, and again a triplet in measure thirteen. And it's a very lazy, slow hammer on. First fret, third string. So I'm only hitting it like that. I play the string open and I let it ring, and then I do the hammer on in the third beat. All right, one more time, bar 12 and 13. Because I use the same uh, accompaniment for the verses uh, <clears throat> behind the vocals the, for the three verses, so it's all the same thing except uh, <clears throat> one fill behind the first vocal line, and they are also in the tablature on page two. I also wrote the lyrics for the first verse anyway under the tablature, so you know exactly where to sing. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Let's go back to bar nine and add the vocals. Yeah, you know exactly what happened last year, just about this time. I went for one hundred dollars. When we walk into that B7, bar 14, there's really heavy temp work there in the last beat of measure 14. Going to the, the A7 there, for just a half beat, and then it's single string run. Well, you have to know this part very good, uh, the guitar part, uh, to add the singing afterwards because it's a bit, maybe a bit unconventional to mm, sing while playing a single string run. Notice what the temp does. No, sorry, tap index tap. That's a typical lightning Hopkins lick. go to the first solo. So the first part, I'm trying to, well, imitate Sonny Boy's uh, typical licks Maybe not in this song, but that's something he did that. You see, I'm, I'm moving up. Well, in the tablature it says a slide. You can do it with a slide also. But I prefer to do it. So you have three picks for the triplet. One, two, three. Index and middle. 
And then the second finger takes over. You keep the index on the 7th fret. Back to the 9th fret. And then... And it's all with the temp muted. picking fingers, resting on the string after I picked. Slide down, and then we go to the A. <laughs> and to do that bent on the 8th fret, I use two fingers. Again, our signature well ending. That's an arpeggio, and I think in the second solo of the first solo, I can't remember exactly, I did that over two beats. There's a difference between what I do here in the solo and what I do in bar 15 when I sing it. There it's a triplet and now it's a slide and I wait a little bit and do a upstroke, a rake, like that, typical lightning Hopkins. Da da da. It's, like, it's not da da da, but da da da. All right, slides to the third fret and bending the second fret. Of course, a difficult <coughs> bend because well, we're not used to bend the first ring on the second fret, and I use two fingers to to get that. Typical Johnny Shines move. And then we go into the second verse. Um, <clears throat> in the second verse we have a different fill. Yes, I'm in love with a little girl Just because she's so nice and kind and back to the A7. So you just put your third finger or your first finger or second finger, whatever is comfortable for you. Always do what's comfortable for you if my uh, <coughs> indication doesn't work for you. I dropped out the third slide, I think. The slide in the second measure, I mean. Rest is the same as in the first verse. Only you'll notice that in the third line of the first verse, you asked me for one hundred dollar. It's much shorter, and certainly with a, compared to the third verse, her doctor bill was four hundred dollars. In the second verse, I was so sorry when she asked for a hundred dollar. That's much longer, so you have to start singing a slightly earlier. Uh, I was so sorry when she asked for one hundred dollars, and I couldn't get So that's a bit experimenting. It depends, of course, how fast you speak, and that may be different for uh, everybody. Anyway, 
the third verse, uh, there we have also a different uh, fill. I tried to imitate a bit the <clears throat> guitar playing, the typical jazzy uh, guitar playing of uh, the 1951 recording, I think probably will be, uh, <clears throat> it will be accompanied by um, how about Luther Tucker probably and maybe Robert Lockwood Jr. who was who put some jazzy things in his playing. And in the third verse Yes, my name is taken sing boys on July the 29th Taking sick boys and so on. So it's like that. <clears throat> so and then we have a second solo. Also preceded by double bass. <laughs> And let that slide ring. Know that every beat is considered, we were playing with swing feel, as a triplet. So if you have only two notes, one of the notes has to be ring, has to ring a bit longer then. And in this case, it's the first one. At the pinky and slide down. And when you slide to the fifth fret and play those two strings in unison, move your finger just slightly up so you don't have the, the possibility of uh, muting the first string. If you don't do that, it might sound like that. Also here, I'm picking with two fingers, one for each string, and I'm muting the third string. I don't want to ring that like that, sounds horrible. So I mute that by slightly moving my second finger upwards. So that string, the third string is muted. Again, I'm bending slightly two strings. Repeat. All right. Going from the ninth fret. Now here, in, if you listen carefully to the recording, That third uh, fret first string in measure 36, I played immediately after the bass, so it, it's able to ring longer than than that. So bar uh, 38, you should consider it as two licks in one bar. And the first two beats are one lick and the beats ter three and four are the same. So. It's a five beat measure there. And 
then you can either end or Yes, my baby was taking sick and so on. What's not in the tap is the last couple beats the outro. Well, the tap was two pages. I was too lazy to make a third page. Mm. And I'll explain it. So I'm ending the song. Uh, and I didn't have the tree night. And then starts the end lick. So the sixth string is on the offbeat, so it's not on the beat. And then on the beat, da 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 One more time. And I'm using a rest stroke, so my thumb plays. After each pick, it rests on the strings, on the string which is below, on the fourth string in this case. And I use my nail by tilting the temp. And also using dynamics. It's not. And I do that different every time. But some notes are have more volume than others. So you can add a personal touch there. So that's it for 99. Listen to Sonny Boy, he was a great performer. All right, have fun. <laughs>